Hello everyone, today we will learn how to execute a DME arc using a collocated NDB. On your screen you can see an ILS approach chart for Osic Airport, Croatia, which I will fly in a flight simulator in just a few minutes. First, I would like to explain a few things about DME arcs. Now, as you may or may not know, DME arcs aren't flown as one curved segment, but rather as few straight line segments, which you get after slicing the arc every 10 or 20 degrees like this. Okay, so how do you join an arc that has an entry procedure different than this one? Well, there's a good rule of thumb which will give you the distance at which you should commence your standard rate turn into the arc. Two airspeed over 200. So for example, if this is your position and you wanted to join the arc like this, and excuse me for my awesome drawing skills here you should commence the turn at 9.5 miles okay so now you're in the arc what do you do well let's take one of these fancy triangles here and work with 10 degree slices since that will give a more precise path than the 20 degree and let's simplify it okay so here's our triangle here which may not look like the same triangle, but trust me, it is the same triangle. And let's just draw our arc here, like this. And say we enter the arc and are now at 90 degree angle towards the end of B. We should be indicated by the ADF needle here, we should be pointing to the left. Which means we are on the tangent of the curve. But we don't want to be on the tangent, we want to go to our next position. So, how do we fly there? Well, we have to turn left by some amount here, which we'll just call x, in order to get to the proper course. So, how do we do that? We can split this triangle in half, 90 degrees here, we get another angle here, let's call it alpha, and here we're gonna have 5 degrees. And you can probably see here that alpha plus x is 90, so let's write that up real quick, alpha plus x is 90. 90 and we know that these triangles here had to add up to 180 so we can just write alpha is 180 minus 90 minus 5 which is gonna leave us with 85 and then we can say x is 90 minus alpha which is 85 so x is 5 Okay, so from this position, we're gonna turn left 5 degrees. Our ADF needle is gonna be showing 5 degrees in front of us now, since we turn into the NDB practically. And we're gonna be on our proper course to the next position. Okay, so once we're in this position, this is a course line, and this is what the ADF will be showing 5 degrees back now, so it's gonna be like this. And now we're gonna have to turn not 5 degrees, but 10. If we turn only 5, we're gonna get back on the tangent here, which is not what we want. We wanna be on the next course line, the next position in the arc. So we're not gonna turn once, but twice by 5 degrees. So we're gonna turn 10 degrees. Let me just grab another color here. If we initiate the turn at this position, we're gonna actually overshoot the arc. So when we're halfway there, we can slowly start turning into our next course, which will then make us stay on the arc during the whole time. Okay, so here we are in the flight simulator. We have our NAV1 frequency set to the ILS runway to Niner. Our NAV2 set is to DME here. And we have our ADF set to 372, which is the Charlie Echo locator. So, let's just fly inbound the locator for now.
and as we fly over it, we're gonna turn to 155 to intercept the arc. Okay, so let's turn out to 155. switch to our Oscar Sierra Juliet NV which is 4 to 2 and now we'll wait for our DME distance to come down to 9 nautical miles after which we can then turn right into the arc Okay, so we're getting close to 9 miles here, and as we're about to hit 9, we're gonna turn right until our ADF move shows 90 degrees left, and then we're gonna turn 5 degrees left in order to get on the proper course. So 9.1, we can slowly turn towards right, and center that needle on 90 degrees left. this 170 and we're going to turn 5 degrees left to 165 and now we're going to wait for our ADF middle to go back to full 90 degrees left deflection and then we'll turn 10 degrees left again ok so it's about 90 left now we're slowly going to start our turn to 155 and once again we're gonna wait for the needle to come back to 90 degrees left and we're gonna be checking our DME distance which is 9 miles now so that is all fine in case you overshoot the arc then simply turn instead of 10 15 degrees next time and vice versa if you want to shoot the arc. And as you can see, only slow movements are necessary. Nothing too quick. And that is basically it. We're gonna do this until we hit our desired bearing to the NDB, which is 295 for QD mic and after that we're gonna start our turn to intercept the localizer Okay, as you can see, we are about to hit the bearing of 295 degrees soon. After which, we will start a standard rate turn to the left to intercept the localizer for runway 290. So bearing now is 295 and you'll slowly start turning to the left to intercept the localizer. Okay, we are now in the localizer and you're gonna wait for glide slope which should be in the center at 4.7 miles at 1,800 feet ok so we are approaching 4.7 miles and you can see that our light slope is now centered as well now all you have to do is fly the Alice approach
And that is it. That's high applied DME arc with analysis approach.